on him, John. Yeah, we were uh, talking about just a sprinkle, if that, and they got away with uh, no rain out there tonight. Now, we want to talk about that tornado last Friday with the multiple vortices, a huge tornado. A lot of information came in today on that tornado. Turns out this monster is a record breaker. Widest tornado on record, 2 point six miles wide uh, that was last friday the el reno tornado which is the western suburbs of oklahoma city the old record two and a half miles wide in nebraska in 2004 didn't make the record for strongest winds that was in the moore oklahoma tornado in 1999 318 mile per hour winds but it's the second fastest 295 mile per hour winds another ef5 tornado now to show you how warnings work uh the d fatalities there were some but nothing like they had in the deadliest tornado in the united states 689 fatalities they really didn't have any warnings back then 1899 in wisconsin ninth deadliest tornado 100 17 fatalities, no warning system for those folks. And the world record, Bangladesh, 1,300 fatalities, one tornado. That was back in 1989. Warnings, folks, do work. All right, here's Viper Radar right now, and we are looking at showers, some of them very heavy, moving into Fond du Lac County. You can see the band stretches past the Dells all the way to Prairie du Chien and south of La Crosse. But south of I-94, look at Doppler Radar, most of the heavy rain showers staying to the north. So it looks like maybe a tenth of an inch of rain overnight tonight in Milwaukee, maybe a quarter of an inch or a little more to our north. Satellite shows the clouds are here and they will stay as it's cloudiness comes all the way back here around the big low pressure system and that low will slowly move to our south for the next couple of days. 50 in Waukesha right now, 50 in Milwaukee, 50 in Port Washington. Look at your Boygans already dropped to 48 degrees. Temperatures won't change too much with the clouds and the rain. 48 overnight in Milwaukee, 49 Waukesha, 51 out in Watertown. So the low is going to slowly move by. Notice the computer models still have off and on showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. And that continues right on into the beginning of the day on Thursday. For Wednesday's high, 61 Milwaukee, 64 Madison, 56 with showers up in Green Bay. Showers likely overnight tonight. Winds will be easterly 48 degrees. Tomorrow mostly cloudy. A few showers are likely 61. Maybe a rumble of thunder. Showers likely again tomorrow night 50. And Thursday, isolated showers 58 in the city 68. Out in Waukesha. Here's your Storm Team 4 seven day planner. We are looking at uh, essentially Friday sunshine and 64 degrees. Saturday we need sunshine and 70 sunshine and 72 with a thunderstorm on Sunday. And in the morning hours, it is Little Laney Barnum, or Lane Barnum, I should say, not Little Laney, Lane Barnum. He's six, 51 degrees with that umbrella in hand, smart, young, good looking young man. Congratulations now to Sandra Glor and Janet Stanford. They both want a Bead and Button Show gift pack that includes tickets to the Bead and Button Show going on at the Delta Center in downtown Milwaukee. Every, enter every day on our Facebook page for your chance to win. We'll be back with more after this. Weather Kids, brought to you by Malkins Flooring in Menominee Falls, creating raving fans every day. Chief Storm Team Forecaster, John Milan. We do have great radar. We have a dual radar system, but our experience gives us that edge to help you stay safe from those storms. Storm Team 4, there's no safer place to be during severe weather. 